Yo creo que mucha gente tiene miedo. now I am packing up my stuff tomorrow I will be back on the road I have been here in San Jose for about uh, five days I met my friend Alberto while I was doing some hitch hacking he bring me all the way to uh, La Paz so I am really appreciate to have met him on my way down south and I could spend some time in his house so what a perfect timing. I am feeling excited as always to be back on the road. I like to stay somewhere, you know, get to know the people and the culture, but also it is such a great feeling, you know, to pack up my stuff and be back on the move. So tomorrow I am going to hitch hack all the way to La Paz. I think it is about um, two hours, you know, about uh, 180 uh, miles away from here, so not too far. And from La Paz, I'm gonna have to catch a boat going all the way to Sinaloa, Los Mochis. So this is what I'm going to do for the next couple days. And then from Los Mochis, I will be hitchhiking all the way up to Hermosillo. I am not sure if you have heard about uh, the reputation in Sinaloa, but uh, this is where most of the cartel are. And uh, El Chapo is from Sinaloa. I don't really care, I don't really mind, you know, I know that I have to watch out. This is why I made myself a small pocket because I don't want to keep my money on me so you know i think that would be more smart for sure i do believe that there is some place which are unsafe but what about the people i think that not all the people of sinaloa are uh, bad you know of course i will have to uh, be careful and watch out you know while i am doing to hit check but uh, you know people are people at the end of the day so yes I am looking forward to uh, go back on the road, you know, like I said, being in Mexico is like feeling home. Guys, so right now it is 1.30 in the afternoon and I am on my way to La Paz by hitch hiking. So I just get off the bus and now pretty much and now pretty much I am looking for a place to hitch hack. Yes. So let's see if I can find a good spot. So I made it to a gas station. I think a little bit further it would be a good spot to uh, hit shack. And yes, now I am going to get some water and then I will keep on heading 
up north. Yes, guys. Uh, I think here it could be a nice spot to hitchhack. So, yeah. How is that, baby? I think I found the right place. I think here could be a nice place to uh, hitchhack. Maybe after the tracks. Okay. So I think no, I think here could be a nice place here. Just right here. ¿Cómo está? Me voy para La Paz. No, pero voy más cerca. Me voy a dejar ahí donde, donde llegue. ¿Cuánto tiempo de aquí te va? Yo voy a pescadero. ¿Cuánto tiempo de aquí? De aquí allá, unos 50 minutos. Ah, está bien. ¿Me voy aquí? Dale, gracias, Sofía. Gracias.
Sí, así. Mucha arma, eh. Mucha. Cuernos. <risa> sí. Así. Sí. Sí. Esos somos nosotros ahí. Pasando el año nuevo. Matamos una, una vaca. Para comerla. El 31. Gracias a todo. Alright guys, so this is where I got drop off and now I will keep on hitchhiking. What a funny man, you know? What a funny man. Drinking and driving. <laughs> Drinking and driving is not good guys, you know? Definitely. Definitely. Alright. So now I am on to the next spot. I think here could be a nice spot to eat Chuck on my way to La Paz. I think it's pretty good here. Yeah. Right here. Yeah guys. Yes! Yes, yes, yes! So, right now, I am on my way to La Paz. I have been here for about uh, maybe half an hour. But you know, when I am hitchhiking, when I am hitchhiking in Mexico, I have to be aware on the left, on the right, behind me, and also in front of me, you know, because it is a different place. But uh, anyway, I love the hype, because, you know, I have to be conscient, and yes, you know, I love it. There is no a better feeling for me. Me voy para La Paz, señor La Paz. Dale. Pero yo creo que aquí es mejor, ¿no? No, ya. ¿Es mejor? Dale. Desde como desde 2013 Ajá. yo conozco 90 países. Ah, 90 países. Pues. Sí. Yo desde, yo desde el 83 nomás conozco uno. ¿Cuántos? Uno. ¿Uno? México. México. So right now it is 9.30 in the evening. And we are on our way to Sinaloa. Uh, I think we're gonna get in Sinaloa around like 7 or 8 in the morning. Yes. So, yeah, 
guys on my way to Sinaloa Los Mochis Like I said, there is not much except cars and trucks. So I'm not really sure if I can keep on moving any further. Ah, muy bonito, muy bonito. Guys, unfortunately, uh, Eri left. He was afraid, you know, that we get into some trouble, even though I had my passport and everything, but you know, he just left me in the middle of nowhere, kind of. But uh, it's all good, you know. It's all good, and I think I am going to wait here to catch a ride. I think here could be a nice spot to hitchhike on my way to Hermosillo, yes. Uh, it's a little bit sad, you know, and unfortunate in the same time, but you know, uh, this is how it is. I am so used to this kind of situation and I just love it, you know, because I have to be careful, obviously. Like I said, you know, it is a different place, it is a different culture, so you know, here you always have to watch out, you know, which people are gonna pick you up. I think it's better. 
better when there is like one man alone but if there is like many people in one car it's not good you know like many men it's not good so much uh, a family it's all right but yes i have to be aware definitely i have to be aware yes. also like to hitchhike i should always try to stay somewhere where there is people now guys it is 10 in the morning and yes let's see how long i will wait before i catch a ride This is where I got drop off now. I will be working to find uh, another spot to check. It's a bit lonely, you know, but well, I got no choice. So, yeah. Let's try to find a good place to uh, hitchhike a ride on my way to Hermosillo. Guys, funny how people react, you know? I just met some people and uh, somebody was like giving me money, you know? Like, I'm not sure what he was thinking about, but you know, I don't need money. I am all right, I'm all good. People seem to be really friendly, so this is a good point. Like I said, as a black man, as a black traveler, sometimes some people will think that I am an immigrant or I don't have like my documents. So yeah, maybe I think this is what he was thinking. All right. I am going to get some food quickly and then I will keep on moving. Buenos dias, señor. Buenos dias. ¿Cómo está? Para comer, por favor. Para comer? Sí. Ahí. Sí. Pero yo soy como vegetariano. Hola papi. Aquí cómo se llama la ciudad aquí? El Carrizo. Carrizo. Sinaloa. Sinaloa. Qué bueno. Guys, I just met Jorge. Jorge. From Sinaloa. El Sinaloa, el Carrizo, Sinaloa. Y Jorge, me gustaría te preguntar cuál es tu mensaje para el mundo. Pues la verdad que todos nos diéramos como hermanos porque somos todos iguales y eh, ojalá y prevaleciera la paz, la armonía entre todos y que no hubiera esas clases sociales, eh, que todos fuéramos igual y nos ayudáramos unos a otros porque realmente eso es lo que debe prevalecer para que haya paz y armonía en todo el mundo, para que no haya conflictos, todos las razas de todo el mundo somos al fin y al cabo Hermanos. Gracias, Jode. Gracias. Ahí estamos, Anthony. Sí. Hey, Vamos a tomar una fotografía. Vamos a hacer una. Quítate un poco de más porque te. Ella es Gina. Gina, José Iván. Gina, el José Igual. Hey, ¿Tú tienes como un teléfono? Sí. Ajá. ¿Cómo está, pa? ¿Te puedes hacer una pregunta? Sí. Sí. Júntense, júntense con Anthony. Sí. Mucho gusto, sí, ánimo. Anthony, y Dios te bendiga y que te cuide en todas las partes que andes. Gracias, José. ¿Eh? Igualmente, sí. Adiós, adiós, adiós. Muchas gracias. 
Guys, people are so friendly. I told you, in Mexico, people are really nice, you know? So now I will keep on hitchhiking on my way to... on my way to Hermosillo. Yes, let's do it, guys. Once again, some people were stopping by and they wanted to give me some money. I think people are not used to see a black traveler traveling, you know, like around Mexico. And I think uh, most of the people here think that I am an immigrant. Uh, people behave good, you know, people are friendly and saying hi. But you know, once they see a black man, they must think that maybe I come from uh, Central America and I'm trying to make my way up north. Uh, yeah, it's a little bit weird, but uh, this is how it is. Uh, right now, I am trying to catch a ride to uh, Hermosillo. And uh, yes, so far, people have been pretty friendly. Uh, I just met George also in the restaurant where I was eating and he was like so friendly. I showed him what I was doing and uh, yes, he had a good understanding. Uh, yes. So, right now, I am just trying to catch a ride on my way to Hermosillo. Yeah. Maestro? Ah, cuisina? Cuisina? Maestro de prepa. Ah, So, I just met my friend Jesus and he dropped me in a place where people gonna help me to find a ride, you know? So, yes, what a really nice man. Una cámara. Cámara. Ahí me la regaló. Eh. Me la regaló, ahí está. ¿Qué estás tú? Ah, órale. And back on the road, yes. For now, I will try to find myself a good spot to hitchhike on my way to Hermosillo. So right now, I will be looking for a different spot to hitchhike. Uh, Jesus dropped me in a such a nice place, but you know, I think I will keep on going on my own because you know those people I just like to be independent, you know? Sometimes people pretend they're gonna help you but uh, afterward, nothing. So, yeah. Now, I am looking for a place to hitchhack. And I'm not really sure where I could stand. ¿Cuál es tu mensaje por el mundo? Un mensaje por el mundo. Eh, un mensaje por el mundo para mí sería ayudar una nueva vida al que más lo necesita. Siempre echarle la mano a los paisanos. Dale. Gracias, Andrés. No me acuerdo. Yo no necesito dinero, papi, porque... Te lo manda el patrón, aquí el de la tropa. No, mira, mira. Señor, buenas tardes. Yo me llamo Anthony, yo soy de Francia. Ok. Y yo hacer como dedo hasta Amosillo. Por favor, sí, está bien. No te preocupes, no, la nada. Mucho gusto. Mucho gusto, señor. Por favor. De algo le gusta. Por favor. No, gáralo. La nada. De corazón te lo doy. ¿Para dónde va? Aquí voy, aquí vivo. Dale, dale. Okay. Pero por favor, señor. No, agárralo. Te lo regalo. I don't really know what to do, you know, because some people sometimes want to give me some money, but I don't need cash. So I guess I'm gonna have to give that to somebody, you know? 